Hey guys, just want to take a few minutes this morning to go over the uh, Mako three-piece Traveler pole spear. Uh, this is available on their website, and I think it's thirty-four ninety-five. Uh, it is a three-piece breakdown pole spear uh, made out of uh, anodized aluminum tubing, and uh, I'll go over each part individually. But just kind of wanted to get the size of it, and across my chest, it's you know a little wider than me, about 25, 27 inches uh, in length. So fit into most of your bags, uh, diagonally in a luggage, something like that. Uh, these are all very solid uh, pieces, uh, the tubing, and I'll go into it in detail in just a second here. But I just wanted to kind of see the overall length, obviously your band right there. And uh, nice compact. Plan on putting this in my kayak, so if I'm ever out, uh, I don't have my big spear gun in there, I'd have this. And if I decided to do some impromptu spear fishing, I'd be ready to go. So uh, kind of break into this little by little. Uh, we'll start with the uh, tip and uh, the attachments. Uh, each piece of tubing in the uh, three-piece pole spear has this kind of a threaded connection. Uh, as I said, it is a, um, a hollow tubing, so not solid, but definitely uh, hollow. And then you can see the threads in there all the way down, uh, machined into the tubing. And it is, it's pretty thick. Uh, if you look at that from the end view, you can kind of see how uh, how thick that tubing is. Uh, it's not uh, not a light affair, so um, it is very stiff. It doesn't flex. Uh, it's not going to flex when you got the band pulled on it. I mean, it's very solid. Uh, then uh, each of the uh, connections on the other end of the uh, male end of it, uh, you can see how this is threaded. And this, I checked. This is not, as far as I can tell, it's not a uh, English thread. It's not a metric thread. I actually took this uh, into uh, my local Home Depot and tried it, and I was trying to find out if there was a um, what thread pattern this was, and it's something unique uh, to Mako or some other off metric, I don't know. But anyways, uh, it doesn't really matter. It threads together solid enough. The threads work. Uh, they have turned down the first part of these threads. They're still kind of there, but they don't engage anything. And uh, they did that, I'm assuming, so that you could easily get these two together and line them up. And then from there, it's just simply turning it together, tightening it up, and uh, then this makes a nice smooth joint on here. There is a little bit of knurling, as you can see, uh, just so you can grip that to be able to get it apart. Uh, but that doesn't affect you know sliding through your hand at all. So nice smooth uh, seam there. Not doesn't stick up. There's not a big a lip or anything on it. Just pretty smooth. So take that back apart, and uh, very simple. Seems like a very solid connection, and when the two of them are put together, the flex again, you know, between the two, there isn't there isn't any rattling or anything like that. It makes a one solid piece. Um, it does come with a little safety cap just to protect you and your gear in the seat of your car and your gear bag uh, from puncturing through. So I don't know, it's this little plastic cap, whatever. I'll probably lose it in a week, but there it is. Anyhow, uh, the tip is a five prong paralyzer tip. Uh, it does have barbs, the particular one I have. Uh, they do offer a three-prong uh, lionfish killer, which has uh, no barbs, so you can just slip your lionfish off of there. Uh, fortunately, in the Great Lakes, uh, the freshwater where I do my spearfishing, we don't have any lionfish, so uh, not a worry. We're more along the lines of uh, panfish or other rough fish. So wanted to show you the tip, though. It goes on the same way. It has the threaded connection. So just turn this a few turns, and separate the tip from the rest of the shaft. Now, because uh, all of these shafts are made the same way, you've got the you know female end here, male end, and uh, you have two sections like that that are, um, now obviously the one with the tip was a little bit shorter, but uh, side by side, if I mate those up, uh, show you the other side, you know, one's a little bit longer, obviously to make up for the tip, so when you store it, it's all, all three are roughly the same size. Uh, but that being said, it gives you some options. You could put this together with uh, just one section with the band, or maybe two sections, uh, either one, the longer one, the shorter one, and uh, you end up with a, a pole spear overall length of six foot seven inches long uh, with every section together, and then uh, four foot five or four foot eleven, depending on which middle section you used, uh, or just the back end section. So you could just take this piece here with the band. Slip your tip in there, and it does fit on either one because it is the same threads all the way throughout, and have just a little tiny, short little pole spear here. <laughs> so, um, and they kind of deem that as uh, you know for lionfish uh, only, but uh, 
you know, do what you want with it. Anyway, back to the tip, kind of cover that. Uh, it is five prongs. If you look at the, uh, the prongs uh, up close, you can see that they are uh, simply just cuts into the, the bar or into the uh, prong itself with a little cut and then bent out at an angle uh, to form the barb. Now, not a bad way of doing it, works fine. Uh, and I haven't shot any fish with this yet because we're still waiting for our ice to thaw so we can get in the water. But as you, uh, as you look at this, uh, that is a pretty aggressive barb. I don't think you have any problem getting a fish off, or <laughs> having a fish come off of this as long as it gets past the barbs. But what I have a feeling you will probably end up with, and I've read a few comments online where um, folks have had trouble getting fish off of the barbs because they're on there so well. Um, if that tends to be the case, I might uh, take out a, a, a tine or two, or maybe I would try and bend those down a little bit so they're not as grippy, but grippy enough to keep one from sliding off of there. We'll see. Let's start using it and see how it goes. They do make the three prong without the barbs, so uh, I could try that because in and of itself, the paralyzer tip being wide on the end and narrower down here begins to squeeze and kind of a, it actually kind of pinches on the fish. I've used another tip like this and it just holds the fish kind of almost by tension. But uh, that being said, this is what's offered. A uh, very solid piece. The tines appear to be uh, fastened into the hub here by uh, epoxy. Uh, if you look down in here, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there is uh, epoxy residue around each of these, so I believe these are all epoxied into this hub right here. Uh, that's not a bad way of doing it. Uh, epoxy is very solid. You're not going to pull those out. Uh, and if it did, you could epoxy it back in. But I, I don't think that would be an issue. Or you could just call uh, Mako Customer Service and they would take care of you. Uh, I have no doubt about that whatsoever. Uh, they've been super with everything uh, that I've uh, talked to them about. And also their reputation uh, precedes them online as being just one of the best customer service uh, setups out there. So uh, that's a real quick overview of the Mako 3-piece pole spear. I'll try and throw some pictures in and around the video here so you can see the whole thing uh, at full length. Um, it, it does present a, a pretty good sized chunk of fish being affected by barbs. So uh, my just thoughts at this stage of the game is I might want to have a three prong uh, tip or something like that. We'll see. We're going to start using it and see how it goes. Uh, hopefully in the next uh, week or so. Anyway, well that's it for now. just wanted to give you a, a real quick overview on the uh, Mako three piece travel pole spear. And so you can see what it looks like because I just haven't seen anybody uh, reviewing it at all. Uh, all the other Mako gear that I've got has been great and uh, very well priced, and I know that they're going to stand behind it. So anyway, that's all for now. just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, good luck, and uh, stay safe out there.